Um, we've been in the uh, Progress CTO registry for about five years now. And so we're all familiar, of course, with the hybrid algorithm. And what we'll talk about today, if I can get a little pointer here, is in you know the hybrid algorithm. You're deciding integrate, retrograde, and then you decide to section reentry versus wiring. And if you look carefully, if you can read it, if the print is big enough, today we're going to discuss the wire-based reentry. Of course, everybody's very familiar with the controlled reentry of a Stingray catheter and all the you know, positive benefits for using that. And the hybrid algorithm has had a great success rate of 88%, although you could still make an argument that says, you know, there, that means 12% of people, we will not have a successful case. And so if there are any tidbits and tricks to be used, it'd be a nice thing. And so here we're going back in time to 2005. This is Antonio Colombo uh, and the STAR technique, which we will discuss the um, technique of it and, and the where, how, and when. But before we do, let's just do the history lesson. The, the problem was the success rate was fairly low for this uncontrolled reentry. Um, the MACE rate was high after the reentry, and the restenosis rate was high down the line. And therefore, that, that's why we, it's been supplanted by the hybrid algorithm. Um, in regard to using STAR, if you look in Manos's wonderful textbook, he says, only as last resort should not be used in the LAD uh, due to loss of septals, diagonals, and the possibility of bypass surgery. And if you talk to Bill, he says, uh, if you're using the STAR, try not to stent. Actually, if this was built, it would all be capitalized. Um, but repeat the angiogram typically shows better outflow uh, and, and more branches. Great for the SIR, great for diags, not so great for the LAD. And I should say, great for the distal right, um, because that's a place where you, you get lucky on these reentries. Um, so these are bailout cases. That, you know, remember, the title of the, is what you learned this year, and you learn things um, sometimes when things don't go very well. Um, you'll see two of the star reentries, and I think really that's the whole thing. is isn't exactly about the cases, but just seeing it happen, that I'd seen these guys all do stars, and I said, that would be awesome if I could do that. Uh, so generally, we'll be using a, a microcatheter, a fielder XT, um, but you will see one with a different, a gladius wire, it happens. And then um, I think what you're seeing is a, not only a bend in the vessel, but slightly a bend back. The, the stiffer part of the wire just straightens the angle. And then most importantly is watching the knuckled wire tip shrink um, as it makes the reentry back into the true lumen. Now, with that being said, both of these are in the LAD, um, which isn't a good idea, but you know what? Things happen, and uh, here we go. Uh, and so please, please uh, learn from what I do, but don't do as I do. And then again, I would say STAR technique is used uh, better. It's better used without stents. However, uh, you know, what can I say? Things happen. And so here we go. An occluded LAD with an ambiguous cap, reasonable collaterals, a pretty good landing zone. Uh, this is just the still picture of it. We made an attempt at a reverse cart, and I was unable to get that, but I was able to start driving some equipment forward with the idea I'm going to move the, the, uh, the working zone just down past the uh, site where we just beat it up, try to get a cross boss out here, and then I'll get a stingray. And so funny thing happened with the cross boss. You'll see this a lot in the right coronary that it's kind of a straight catheter and it will find branches on you. And if you look carefully here, what we have is a perf going. Uh, just a stain though, so it's really not hemodynamically significant. The patient's doing okay. Um, and so they, my thought was I wasn't stopping the case. I'm going to move my base of operations slightly more distal. And so I have a knuckled wire out here. And uh, here, this was really, to the honest truth, is this was sort of a happy accident. But the nice thing is you get to see how a star works. And so here it comes. You'll see a big knuckle, big knuckle, shrink right when you come around that curve. And I think what you have is the stiffer body of the wire just kind of jams it through the, um, out of the false lumen and out of the subluminal space into the true lumen. 
And so there is still work to do on this case. Um, I ha if Bill was there, he would have said, doing, don't stent it. Um, but I sort of had this idea that, well, that diag has a perf in it anyway. I was moving my base operations distal to it anyway, and I went ahead and just stented it. But you could probably say critique, it would have been a perfect case had I just only ballooned it, left it for later, brought him back in a few weeks and see how it was. As it was, we checked a few echoes. There was no evidence of pericardial fusion, and the patient did well. Perfect. So here we go. Uh, these are always a wonderful case. A lady, wonderful lady, about my height, but weighing in about 310 pounds, had multivessel disease everywhere. Uh, one of my partners did her right. She lived three, four hours away, so she came down. So there's a little pressure on me to get everything done today. And so I had started with, although I used ultrasound and I used a micropuncture kit, I ended up with a low stick. But I being the very patient cardiologist that I am, I pulled the equipment, we waited for 10 minutes, and then uh, we went ahead and started the case. And so we get going, I, I stent the circ, I come back around, I'll show you the pre-shot for the LAD. You can see there's disease up in the mid and proximal LAD, and this, uh, as far as CTOs go, this isn't a whole lot of fun. That the, um, if you are going to make a re-entry, it's going to be down here. So you really, you're hoping you can somehow get a wire into this. As far as um, collaterals that are interventional collaterals, there don't, does not appear to be a lot of them. But while we're working, um, the, the nurse astutely turns to me and says, you know, her leg is swelling up. What's happening here? And I naturally say, oh, it, it's just a big leg. Don't worry about it. It's fine. But uh, it turns out there's a big bleed going. Uh, the wiring didn't work. I have a stingray way down there, and it's not working either. And so you can see I'm doing a straw technique here. So I'm drawing blood out to try to get rid of the hematoma to try to make this re-entry. Uh, but things are going a little sideways. And so I thought, well, we got to try something different. And I didn't think retrograde was a great option through that epicardial collateral. And so here comes a star on purpose. We have a Corsair. We have a Filter XT. You can see a big uh, knuckled wire, and you can see it shrink. And, and what you're, the, the location is important, that this is a, a tortuous part of the LAD, and again, you're taking a fairly stiff wire. Now, I remember getting yelled at from the last time, and I tried not to stamp, but really, I had no flow anywhere. And so, here we go again. You, you could have made an argument that says, well, you could have came back with the angiosculpt, and I think I, I, I skipped that. But I think it, at the end of the day, we ended up with a, not a perfect, but a pretty good result. We had the right open, we had the circ open, and uh, she did well. And so I would say the STAR technique, you know, when a controlled reentry is not possible, it can be helpful. And I think it's important to watch for the quote unquote shrinkage of the. Uh, the knuckle tip of the wire. Uh, generally, try not to stent due to loss of branches and high resinosis rate, but maybe can be done uh, with a, uh, it, avoiding a full metal jacket. You could try angiosculpt, try not to use it in the LAD. Uh, but I do think before an investment procedure gets done, this is a reasonable step. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah. Just a couple of questions. We still have two minutes for discussion. So, uh, 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 the panel, what, any thoughts or questions for Tony? I, I just had a comment. Uh, great cases. I was going to tell you, you know, the, but the star, the thing is, to stent or not to stent depends on how many branches you're going to shut off. And I think both of your cases were relatively short stars. So I would say that you did the right thing. I probably would have done the same thing. And what I would say is if you have time, if the groin isn't bleeding, once you've starred and angioplastied, don't take an injection but use IVUS. And if the segment that's actually within the star is relatively short and you're not losing any major septals or diags, you're fine. So if you're in the mid-distal LED, I think it's okay to stent. T Tony, uh, I have a question for you. So which wires and how much you push? Uh, the first one was a Gladius, and I was sort of 
pushing medium hard yeah. and I just saw it shrink and I had seen you guys okay. do this before and I saw it shrink and I said hello and, and I just got it down. The second time I pushed it a little harder. That was like medium hard, but it wasn't hard hard. Was it was it medium Gladius hard. Too? No, that was a XT. XT. So what do you guys think? Uh, how many of you use um, uh, star technique um, in the peripheral? Anybody used it in the SFA? So those who did peripheral in a long time, that was very, very familiar technique. You just moved it to the coronary. And there are a few pitfalls. And uh, what do you think, uh, uh, Nick, about stenting or not stenting after a star? Well, you know, I, I think that they hit the nail on the head and it really has to do with the length of the stent. Uh -huh. You know, we're in the subintimal space a lot. When we're in a CTO, we don't really have any idea where the hell we are most of the time during a CTO. So I don't think it's the, the actual um, fact that it's a subintimal for such a long thing. It's just a really long uh, segment and a lot of times with the star because it doesn't have side branches you don't have good as good a flow through that so that's going to increase your restenosis rate as well and I think the point that was made about making if it's a very short segment th that's perfectly appropriate to stent but if it's the whole vessel particularly the LAD and you know the person's stable you should leave it alone and come back 